Mani Huria is a pilot project to try to see how can we combine the advancement in technology and the human aspects of it to be able to produce maps through a community participation. 80% of Area Salam is not serving, it's unserving. Ramani Uriya is a Swahili word, which means an open map, free licensed maps which produce you from the community members. In the rest of we have been already mapped the 21 words, which are flood prone areas. We have to involve the community in order for them to feel and to see what are the effects in the futures and how to protect it. Like to manage it, not to dump in the river because the effects are going to affect them directly. Iweza kupanga mji vizuri lazima ujue wapi pa kupitisha njia wapi pa kupitisha huduma mbalimbali kama maji umeme wapi pa kuweka shule wapi pa kuweka maeneo ya wazi sasa ili uweze kuona lazima uone yale uone hali halisi ya wakati ule My name is Osili Gilosai I'm Tandale Ward Executive Officer our meeting today is to allocate where there is high floods, places where there is confined, most is vulnerable for, for flooding. Because in the previous days we have no maps, so having no maps means that you don't have a plan. So in the past we had real challenges because the maps were outdated and uh, it was very difficult to make decisions on it. That's why we asked the World Bank to help us through this project, Ramani Huria, to develop a very recent current maps that we'll be using uh, for decision making. Common man in the street, the students from Ardi Institute and University of Dar es Salaam, technical staff from uh, the municipalities were involved. But the good thing of it that the community itself participated in providing the very important and crucial data that were needed during making of these maps. So it's actually combining both the human element and the technology element. It's just very simple, pen and pencil, using also the phones, which, which has also the GPS. As the citizen, they will all be able to participate themselves, to contribute to the development of their own city. These maps, very current, full details, even a layman can, can understand these maps. So it can show you different areas where you can do some development to overcome this floods. We have already identified some areas where we can construct some uh, drainage system. The community members did a great job because they are able to actually point out the very important things that in one way or another relate to flood risk. They are able to map the drains that we are actually working and the ones that we are blocked so you can actually access the, the maps through your smartphone. So the maps can be used to identify those drains so that people can go and work on them. But also in case floods happen, then these maps will help, help the humanitarian organizations and other NGOs, the government, to identify the areas that need urgent help. Kupande wa majanga kama mafuriko, ramani zinatusaidia sana kwa sababu Kwa kutizama hivi kwenye ramani, unaona jinsi bonde lilivyo na nyumba gani ziko kwenye bonde, nyumba gani ziko kwenye hata, maeneo hatarishi, nyumba gani ziko kwenye maeneo ambayo siyo hatarishi. Kwa hiyo kukuangalia ramani, ni raisi sana kuanza kujiandaa, ku, kujiandaa kwa ajili ya majanga, kwa ajili ya kuzuia majanga ambayo angeza kutuki. It's important because uh, we, we have so many people in the city that have different needs of data. And if this data are open, 
and then they are for everybody. And that is what, why we say it's Ramani Huria. It's for everybody to use them. It would be extremely expensive to get someone, for example, to come in and fly a helicopter or fly a Cessna. And the imagery we are getting is actually better. So when you imagine that with a sub $2,000 device, you are now getting a data set worth $50,000 and putting it in the hands of city planners. Community mapping helps people a lot to understand the problems because when you see the map you can see what are the, the area which uh, get damaged through floods. So people decided to clean the, this, this stream because it was full of garbages. So when the rain came yesterday it did not cause any damage to these people of this area because uh, it is already cleaned.